Welcome back to my channel. My name is Prashigo. I recently just had my baby here in the UK. Here is C section, and I'm here to show you guys what I packed in my hospital bag that I really, really made use of. That's like the important things you need to pack in your hospital bag before you go have your baby. Also, if you're planning a vaginal delivery, these are things that you also will be needing. I have a video on the channel where I did what I packed in my hospital bag but that was for my first baby which I had in South Korea and this one is for my second baby that I just had here in the UK um they are quite similar things but just that we have um some differences so without further ado let's get started the first thing in my hospital bag is my file that contains all my hospital records. So it's here in this place. The next thing I pack is this one. This is for um, her first photo in the hospital. And it contains this one and this one. Just a normal um, swaddle and headband. The next thing is baby diaper. I went with about 10 diapers and they were enough for the baby. The next thing in my bag is this. Postpartum pads and underwear. I actually used an adult diaper and I'll be linking it down below. I prefer to use adult diaper because it is very, very convenient for me to just to wear. I don't have to start putting my hands and start touching blood and all those stuff. So adult diaper was very, very convenient for me to use. And I also had um, these disposable underwears and this is how it looks like. This one. The next thing in my hospital bag is my pajamas. Immediately I got to the hospital, right? The, they gave me a hospital gown to wear and immediately I took off that hospital gown I wore this my pajamas this pajama has a free pant and also button down so with the button down I was able to still have skin to skin contact with my baby and also to breastfeed my baby easily it's just a normal pajamas and the pants the next thing in my hospital bag is my baby's Onces. I took about five of them just like this and this one I really really love the color it also has an inbuilt mittens so with this one I don't need to start wearing um, a mitten for my baby so with this one I'll just turn it the way and turn it the other way around and we are good to go Okay, the next thing is my baby's cup, mittens, and socks. So I took about two of these. But the hospital provided a cup for my baby. And that was what she wore all through. Some mittens, and this is her socks. I also have a um, baby vest here. That's how it looks like. Like this. I took about five of this one too so i wear this one in for baby and i wear this one on top so this will go in first then i wear this one on top and they all have inbuilt mittens since i had my baby via c-section i went with this um this bottle i fill this one with warm water and I use it to just wash down there. It was so convenient for me. I don't have to start using my hand to wash anywhere and I will not have water splashing all over my body. I also have my toiletries here. In here, I have my paste and my brush. I have my face wash. I have my cleanser, my toner, my serum, my shea butter, lip gloss. I have a cotton pad to clean my face bar oil to apply on my tummy vitamin serum 
I have my skincare product here. I have my Cosarax. Cosarax. My brush, my paste, everything I need for my personal care and my personal hygiene is inside here. I also took this one for my baby. And this one really helped her to stay calm. This is it. It actually helped to suit her in case she's crying after breastfeeding and she still feel like eating something. I just put this one in her mouth. I also went with my baby's diaper cream and a nipple cream. Lancino breast pad. In case my breast milk is leaking, I'll be using this one. Postpartum belly band. So as to help me compress my tummy, immediately I have my baby. This one is super soft. It is not that hard one. So with this one, even after my second section, I can still tie my tummy. Some swaddle for my baby. This is how it looks like. I'll be going with two of these to help cover my baby also i know i plan to do exclusive breastfeeding but in case my breast milk doesn't come out before i leave the hospital i'll be going with some milk and this is the one i'll be going with similar 360 total care i'll be going with about four or five of these for the baby to take so as to keep her tummy full i don't like starving babies and to me formulas are good I'll be going with this one so I can have easy access to um, sipping of my water. I'll be going with this one. It wet wipes because my hospital will be providing me with anyone. I'll be going with a a slipper so I don't I don't walk barefooted. Another thing I packed is some snacks. And these are things that I know I won't be able to eat immediately, but my husband or my friend that will be coming over to stay with me will also eat this one. Other things in my hospital bag include um, socks. I went with a comfy socks to wear in the hospital, but I ended up not using it because I was provided with a compression socks. And I wore that compression socks before I had my baby until the third day that I was discharged. So these ones are also in my hospital bag. This is my vitamin C and I also have another um, vitamin here that I can take. These are the things I packed in my hospital bag. If there are other things I packed in my hospital bag that I forgot to mention here, I'll just put the list down in the description. That's all for today. If you find this video interesting, please do not forget to like, comment and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.